So it's not that I'm some old timer. I mean, I, I appreciate innovation in the hobby. I appreciate innovation with mechanics in board gaming. You know, a, a great example, I love Runebound 3rd Edition. Certainly I love the narrative. I love the fact that the scenarios plug in and play and there's enough diversity that even if you win the scenario there's a lot of different ways to explore it a lot of different characters yes yes and yes but the mechanics of having custom dice to roll for movement and to being able to uh, cast tokens to deal damage and activate effects Um, another great game with mechanics call to adventure casting out the runes you know going up beyond just like hey here are the cards here are the dice or here's just kind of the generic rules but we've dressed it up with more miniatures and pushed it out I, i appreciate innovation but innovation with board gaming more and more it's not just so much a novelty i'm seeing more and more pushing app integration app integration i mean we saw this with lord of the rings by fantasy flight their newest release um return to dark tower it's an app i don't know how you'd have the tower just by itself without um having it digitalized in in the here and today and and essentially having a little mini computer but that pushes the cost up tremendously i mean i understand even from a limited understanding of software development it's better to to shift that coding out to an app whether it's android or ios because it's a already developed platform you're not doing something in-house i mean i i get all that but as more and more games become app based just part of me feels like, well, at least for me, one of the reasons why I play board games is to disconnect from the digital. I want to go analog. I want to have that interaction with the pieces real time and the players. I don't want to be on an app. Uh, second, of course, longevity. And and to be fairness, to be fair with that, excuse me, to be fair with that, that might be my own personal bias, but um, there's a couple of titles that I've been playing for many years. Runebound 2nd Edition, I've been enjoying and play pretty regularly from 2008. I feel like I have a solid collection of of old friends with my board games that I want to be able to play. I don't want to be reliant um, on an app because I know how fast that changes and I know how fast um, it pushes things out. Mansions of Madness, too, another um, example. Now, Of course, one could argue and say, well, Mansions of Madness, the setup time was insane. By the time you populated the decks and seeded everything, you were like, do I I even really want to play this game? Um, Pushing out content for an app, you can develop a lot more, have a lot more flexibility, a lot more updates, and and literally offer more game uh, for the dollar. I'm not talking about, I should say on a side note, I'm not talking about something like Descent 2nd Edition, which I think is um, really a robust gaming system. Because Descent 2nd Edition, you've got the core itself, which, putting aside all the expansions for a second, the core game is one versus many. You're the overlord, and you're trying to stop the party. You could play it that way. Then it has the um, part of the unbreaking, Unbroken Bonds, the solo, where... As an add-on with cards, now the cards automate the dungeon and you're fighting and playing through there. So it replaces the Overlord and it does it really well. And then you have the app itself where you can plug in the app and have it control the monsters and go through an entire campaign. That I I would love a board game that supports on those three levels, that trifecta of just um, everything because I'm not limited to just that one perspective. But again, something like Lord of the Rings, what keeps on holding me back from buying in and and I love Lord of the Rings, to just be reliant on an app. That said, I don't know. Things might be changing. I believe the name of the game was, and you guys will, will correct me, Golem Arcane or Golem Arcana, where it was an app-based game. Um, you had these miniatures, and they were on a board, and they fought, and you plugged it into your app and it, it kind of managed everything. It was, it was um, an interesting concept, but I think because everything was executed software in house and it was very buggy, it never really took off. It never really worked. It, it, it seemed like it was too ambitious ahead of way ahead of the time. 
you know, I guess like if you're comparing back in the day, um, something like MySpace to Facebook, you know, the first one released out of the gate is, is always going to be the innovator, but the second one coming out of the gate is always going to be able to improve upon the first and achieve that market dominance. So I think the goal of Marcano was before uh, Androids and iPhones were in such circulation. Everyone was still really PC and laptop. Now, with everyone having some sort of smartphone, tablet, smart device, whatever we want to call it, I don't know. Is it really that bad to have an app? I'm still a little bit stuck getting around that. Um, That's not to say I wouldn't jump in or I won't jump in. I just... I still want to really go analog. Your thoughts on that? Um, But I I think, agree or disagree, I think we've crossed that line. I think you're now going to see more and more games just releasing app-based only, you know, pushing that out. And it's really just the pieces are for the game taking it on another level. And, And maybe that's not necessarily a bad thing. 